In my life, I felt like I wasn't ready to go on any further. I didn't. I'd embrace death and, you know, as something that could happen to me and as an, an option to get out of this, this sadness that I was feeling. But for whatever reason, like, death himself didn't want me, you know? I'm alive. So the first song I'm going to break down for you guys is Celebration Song. So this is the opening track on the album. And basically we knew that we wanted the album to kind of explode with explode with emotion essentially. And uh, something that I really wanted to try and convey on this record was um, a lot more of a positive message, you know. Uh, we'd, we'd written a song called You Are Everything on the debut and um, that song was very much about loving yourself and loving life and trying to find, you know, uh, happiness through darkness essentially. Um, so Celebration Song was very much that and it, it was just, we wanted the album to start with the lyric I'm alive, and for the next, you know, five minutes to kind of celebrate that, I guess. Um, a big thing to note as well is Celebration Song and Morning Song at the beginning and the end of the album are purposefully, contextually parallel to one another. So this song is about, you know, loving life because death exists, and then Morning Song is about kind of a similar thing, but from the opposite side of the spectrum, I guess. To the existential dread I let run through my head, truth is that you hurt me for so long, and here's my celebration song. So that is essentially the opening lyric of the song, and it's basically me laying out what I'm talking to. And I'm talking to all the demons within me, and basically saying, you know, this is how I feel, and I'm over feeling bad, and I'm ready to feel alive, I guess. I know that years from now, when my final flame runs out, I'll be a grain of sand running through a stranger's hand, but right now, I'm alive. So this lyric is very much about the context of permanence, I suppose, you know, and it was a lyric that I'd had for a long time, it's like, I'll be a, I'll be a grain of sand running through a stranger's hand. It, it kind of speaks to the, the idea that we will all become dust someday, ultimately. We all, we all disappear and become nothing but matter, you know, and the idea is that someday I will die and every memory of me will disappear but right in this moment, I'm alive, so I'm going to celebrate it. So yeah. I'm alive, I live to see today. I lost so much along the way, but that's fine, because I'm alive. This lyric is, is kind of simple and basically says, you know, you may have gone through things, but that doesn't matter. The fact that you're here is, is enough, you know? Uh, so, I've been so hurt for so long. Uh, that line is basically a way of, the kind of chanting kind of vibe underneath is, for me, it was, it was a reminder, like, I wanted the listener to always hear this line, I've been so here for so long, because ultimately, the point of the song is context. Being alive is normal, you know, but for people who've been through hardships, being alive is so much more special, so the constant, I've been so here for so long, it was more a case of reminding the listener, I guess, that, I haven't, I'm not just alive, like, I've fought to be alive, you know, so. Um, well, I'm done trying to run from all the things that make me feel alive for fear that I might just catch fire because I've earned a couple days amongst the sun. So that is basically, once again, um, just very much embracing the idea that you shouldn't be scared to be happy. You will ultimately, as somebody who's been through hardships in life, you will train yourself to feel guilt whenever you feel happy and the idea is that for a while in my life I was scared of the limelight and I was scared of happiness because I thought it would be too much for me um, but I've, I've earned that you know um, so. God knows I've more than paid my dues for all the months that I didn't want to live through the sleepless nights the bloodshot eyes this blissful pain contextualized I went to death's door he let me inside but for all my want he couldn't look me in the eyes. So yeah, this is just kind of a way of looking back over all the hardship and once again, kind of, you know, that same theme I suppose, but the line, this blissful pain contextualized, it was a way of saying that, you know, as I've said before, without darkness and hardship and sadness, you can't truly understand the context of, of, of happiness, I guess, you know, so, so looking back on the, all that pain, you know, it is blissful that I have that as a context, I suppose. With the final line, I went to death's door, he let me inside, but for all my want, he couldn't look me in the eyes. It's essentially, you know, a kind of hands-on way of saying that in my life I've 
felt like I wasn't ready to go on any further. I'd, em I'd embrace death and, you know, as something that could happen to me and as an, an option to get out of this, this sadness that I was feeling. But for whatever reason, like, death himself didn't want me, you know? And, like, I kind of, I guess, you know, was meant to live, uh, you know? And, and, like, and I think that's a very, very important point in part of the song is, you know, I'd given up, but the world hadn't given up on me, so.